To hear it, uh huh. To mix it, move it, make it. Here we go. B A M B I N O. Bambino. Let's go, Bambino. Buongiorno, Bambinos. Welcome back to the fourth episode, the Bible. You know, it is very important that we live our life that pleases and honors God. Hmm. And how do we do that, Joan? Well, when it comes to honoring God, the Bible is our go-to guide because it teaches us the right thing and the wrong thing, and it teaches us how to live our life. The Bible is no ordinary book. It is the Word of God. Every time we read the Word of God, it makes us happy. It fills our hearts with joy because it is a love letter from God to you and me. The Bible is Jesus speaking to you. So that means if you read the Bible every single day, Jesus is speaking to you every single day. And the more and more you read about it, the more and more you discover God's goodness. Like when he says you are precious to him, he has chosen you. Like when he says he will stand up for you and he's always there for you. The Bible teaches us all kinds of amazing things about God. That is the reason it is important for us to have our own personal Bibles and read it every day so that we can hear Jesus speak. And in this way, you and Jesus will be best friends. And that is why I'm so excited for this episode where we're going to learn more and more about the Bible and how much it means in our faith. The B-I-B-L-E that's the book for me. I'd like to hear the story from the B I B L E Bible. Hey, Sean. I'm struggling so much trying to memorize this verse. Do you think there's an easier way to remember this Bible verse? Hmm, let me think. Well, today's verse is about the Word of God being sharper than any double-edged sword. So perhaps we remember this verse by thinking of a sword? Wow, that is such a great way of remembering it. If the Word of God is more sharper than any two-edged sword, then it must be so powerful. Yes, super powerful. You know, one day, these other puppets approached me and asked me questions like, why is the Bible so important? And do we actually need to read it? I find it so difficult to answer them. Seriously? So what did you tell them? Well, at that time I panicked, so I just told them to watch Bambino. Although you may not have been able to give them the answer, you have still directed them in the right direction because today we have Darren and Krishtika who will be talking about the Bible. Maybe this could help you answer those questions. Oh, how amazing! God works in mysterious ways. Indeed. Well, let's go quick. It's about to start. We can't be late for this. Wait, I'm coming! Hey Bambinos, how are you all doing? So today, I'm going to speak to you about the importance of the Bible. And to do that, I'm going to speak to you about something that happened in my life. So you know, one day, when I was in school, all my friends were coming up to me saying, Darren, you know, I'm going to be a finance person when I'm older. Or Darren, I'm going to be a footballer. Or Darren, I'm going to be a doctor. And they were telling me, you know, what they wanted to be. And they were telling me, you know, their futures and, and how they were ready for their future. But, you know, for me, whilst I was happy for them as a friend, part of me was very sad. So what did I do? I went home. And I knelt down and I prayed and I just said, Lord, what is your future plan for me? Do I even have a future? So then the Lord made me open my Bible. I was inspired to open the Bible. And when I opened the Bible, this word of God came to me. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. And it says this, For I surely know the plans I have in mind for you, says the Lord, not for harm but for welfare to give you a future full of hope and you know bambinos this word of god completely changed my life it was the first time 
the Lord has ever spoken to me. And it was such a valuable, valuable experience for me. Hi guys. Hi Darren. Hi Grish. Is that the Bible you're reading? Yes, it is the Bible. Wow, you know, I just recently became a Christian and um, I was just wondering, is it possible you can talk to me a bit more about the Bible? Yeah, sure. What questions do you have? You see, obviously going to church very often, um, people often tell me I need to be reading the Bible often and mm. keep reading it because it's very important. But I often pray in my room because mm. I feel like that's enough. Okay. So, you know, Krish, praying is good in your room, but reading the Bible is equally as important. Why? Because Jesus says in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 4, that one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Live out of the word? What yeah. does that mean? Okay, so let me explain. So, our bodies need food to survive. Our bodies need food, okay? Otherwise, we will die. But did you know we also have a soul that needs food too? And that food is the Word of God. Oh, mm. right. I see what you mean. So in order for our souls to be alive and upgoing, we need to be feeding it with Correct. the Word of God. Yes. And obviously the Word of God is the Bible. Yes. Wow. That's interesting. It is amazing. It's amazing. And you know, St. Paul says, you know, that the Scriptures is used for teaching. So, you know, it's important because it helps us to grow in faith and it helps us to know Christ even more. See, so it's so important, Chris. So important. Yeah. You know, for me, as for science, studying science and all mm. that, people um, like people I've heard of, learnt about, come up with new discoveries every single day. So then, how does the Bible like? Why is it needed then? Because it's old and mm. it's not giving more information that I need now. Mm. Because scientists are coming up with new things. Mm. So why should so, it matter? So you know, things that have been discovered today by scientists you know scientists are finding new things every day you know but you know some things have been said in the bible before and before i explain let me say this it says in scriptures that jesus is alive yes was alive yesterday today and forever so that means that if the word made flesh is jesus himself that means the word of god is also alive yesterday today and forever so you asked me about science, Krishnika. Okay, let me tell you this. Like I said, scientists are discovering things. But did you know things have already been mentioned in the Bible? I'll give you one example. So for example, at the year 500 BC, Pythagoras, a philosopher and scientist, I realized that the Earth is actually uh, not flat, but circle. You know, many people thought that the Earth was actually flat. You know, and he discovered this at the year 500 BC. But did you know, 200 years before that, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 22, it says that the earth was actually circular. So whilst Isaiah, Isaiah said this before Pythagoras even found out. So what does that show? That scripture is in fact factual that there's facts in scripture there's real things that are happening in the world now it's real it's already happened and it's been shown in scripture oh wow that's actually amazing mm. wow i never really knew that but wow, that just clearly shows that the bible is so important and i never knew this is what the bible meant it kind of mm. already spoke about the future already mm. and that's so amazing so mm. i can use the bible to help me in my day-to-day -day life to guide me in all I do. Yeah, so, definitely, definitely, definitely. Wow, you know, like, I never really knew this is what the Bible really meant. Like, it's kind of already laid out my future and like the whole world, even your future, mm. my future, already, it's been already spoken about. Mm. Wow, so that means I can use the Bible every day then. I can go out on my day-to-day -day life and I can read yeah. it, it will help me. You know, definitely, for sure. You know, in the Word of God, there are many things that we can use, you know, to strengthen us, to help us. For, like, for example, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things in Christ who gives me strength. Or Joshua 1.9, you know, do not fear, do not be dismayed, for I, the Lord God, can, I am with you wherever you go. And I mentioned earlier to the Bambinos, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, my personal one, 
Now I know the plans I have for you, now a future that is full of hope. And all these word of God are so important for our lives because it brings encouragement and it brings joy into our lives too. And it allows, gives us that time to really trust in the God when we read the scriptures. So it's, it's so important, you know, that we read the Bible every day and that we really get ourselves in that constant conversation with God. That's really amazing, Darren. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christika, for those questions. And thank you, Bambinos, for listening. And remember, the Word of God is alive and active. Wasn't that awesome? It all makes sense now. It was so good. Now I know what to say when those puppets come and question me again. I love how he spoke about the verse that God gave him. Jeremiah 29, 11. It's just so amazing to see how the Lord speaks to us through the scriptures. Yeah, I love that too. It just shows that we need to be willing to read the Bible if we are really to know what God wants or if we want to speak to Him. I wonder if there's a Bible verse about singing and dancing? There probably is, but I do know one thing. You do? Yes, I do. Do you remember what St. Augustine said about singing? We heard this last season. Oh yes, I remember now. St. Augustine said, singing is like praying twice. Yes, and you know what? I'm in a mood to dance and groove. Oh yes, me too. Let's go and dance. Praise the Lord, Bambinos. So my dear Bambinos, in Psalm 119 verse 105, it says, your word is a lamp for my feet and the light on my path. Wow! The word of the Lord is like a lamp. You know a lamp is, it takes us, whenever it's dark, the lamp shows us the way in the darkness. In the same way, whenever we are in darkness or we are in sorrow or we are in sadness or we are going through a bad day, this is the light that the Lord has given us. When we use this light, called the Bible, this powerful light, everything that is dark will turn into a light. So my dear Bambinos, my lovely Bambinos, so what is the full form of Bible? This is a full form which was made by some people. It is B for basic, I for instructions, B for before, L for leaving, E for earth. So when put it together, Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So a Bible is this powerful book given to us by God. And we have to follow this book before leaving this earth, before leaving and going back to heaven. We have to follow this book. Everything is in the Bible. If you are feeling low, there are so many Bible verses that can light your day up. If you are sick, if you are not well, there are so many Bible verses after saying that you become well, you become healthy. So always remember this, B-I-B-L-E. The Bible stands for basic instructions. Instructions means rules or lessons or something important instructions. So B for basic, I for instruction, B for before, L for leaving earth. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Bible. And make sure you read the Bible. Because you remember in season one, we sang a beautiful song called Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. And you'll grow, grow, grow. Remember that song. So now my lovely sisters, Sister Stina, Sister Lauren, and my lovely brother Jason are going to show you the action. Are you ready? Let's go, Bambino! Hey, Bambinos! So Jason! Hey, Bambinos! Anyways, today, Bambinos, I'm ready to dance. Are you, Stina? I'm ready. Are you ready, Jason? I'm ready, Stina. Are you ready, Bambino? Yay! So today, the action goes like this. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, 
for their week, but he is strong. And we're going to gather it. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me for this I know. And again, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, for heaven's gates are to open wide. He will wash away my sins, let his little child come in. Every now and then, when you feel like you're on your own, sing this song. And remember you are not alone. So Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. That was so awesome! I want to dance some more! Wow! You still have the energy to dance? I am so exhausted! But it was so fun! Perhaps we can make some of our own moves later! Oh yes! Guess what? I have a problem when it comes to reading the Bible! Oh really? And what is that? Every time I read the Bible and close it, and decide to come back to it later on, 
I always forget where I was. Does that ever happen to you? It happens to me so much. To make sure I remember what I last read, I always follow the page. I would do that, but then I feel like it damages my Bible. I wish there was another solution. Yes, I wish there was another solution. Oh wait, who's that? Is that Stina and Shobita making something? Maybe they might have a solution to the problem that we have. Yes, let's go. Wait for me. Um, hey, hey bambinos. bambinos. Do you know what we're making today? No? Shobby, do you know what we're making today? I might have an idea, but first I have just one question, one quick question. So when was the Bible actually made, Sina? Well, that's a very good question. The Bible was actually made in the first century, over so many years. Can you imagine all the amazing stories? Really? Over these Bambino episodes, we've learned so many stories and so many Bible verses, some of my favourite. Well, if you have so many favourite Bible verses and the Bible is so big, how do you find your favourite Bible verses? You know what? I have just a thing. Can you guess? Well, today we're going to be making bookmarks. So Bambinos, let's get started. Here's what you need to make your bookmark. First, a piece of card, whatever colour is fine. A ruler. A bowl of water, just for your paintbrush, which you also need. Some scissors some wool or string and last but not least a hole punch so to begin grab your ruler and we're going to just mark a rectangle and we're going to use our scissors to cut it out thank you So Bambinos, here's our rectangles. Now we're going to make it a bit more exciting. So we're going to do a little design on it. So first, what I want you guys to do is, so what we're going to do is count five little fingers up from the bottom of the page. So do you want to do it together? So going one, one Jesus, Jesus, two Jesus, three Jesus, Jesus four Jesus, Jesus five, five Jesus. Jesus. So there we go. That's about that length there. Now we want to move to the middle Put our finger on the middle is, grab a pencil and just put a little mark where your finger is. There we go. Now we're going to use our pencils and draw a line from the dot we made to the edge of each corner of the bookmark using a ruler. But Shabby, I think I want to do something different. I'm going to make a different triangle just like this. You know what, Bambinos? You can get as creative as you like. Do whatever design you like. Now, time to cut the little triangle we made at the bottom. There we go, Bambinos. That's how we have our bookmark. Now, Stina, what do you think? Well, I don't really like this yellow colour, so I think we should paint it. Definitely. Let's get our paints out. There you go. So, Bambinos, I've decided I'm going to choose a pink colour and I'm just going to paint the whole card one colour. So 
Little Bambinos, there we are. I've mined this pink. Now, I think we should add something a bit extra. You know, we always want to get more creative. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a border along the side. So I'm going to choose blue and I'm going to draw a border now. I'll show you once I'm ready. So Bambinos, here is my Vic mark. So I've painted it pink with a blue background. I think it looks pretty awesome, don't you, Sina? I think it looks really nice. Thank you. So now I think it's time to write your favourite Bible verse. So grab a pen and get writing. I was thinking, you don't always have to write something on your bookmark, do you? I guess so. Can I draw a cross on mine? Sure. Bambinos, you can do whatever you like on your bookmark. Okay. So this is my cross on my bookmark, and you can do whatever object you like. And Shelby, I think I have an idea to make it extra special. Really? I mean, mine's is pretty good already, don't you guys think? Well. I think we should add a tassel so when you put it in your Bible, it'll be hanging out and you can see it wherever it is. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so for, to do a tassel, first you need a hole punch uh, right in the middle of the top of your bookmark, just like this. So Bambinas, when you use a hole punch, make sure you're careful or get an adult to help you. Okay, Bambinas, now that we've made a hole punch, we take a piece of string, quite long, about this length, and we make a cut. So we use this string, and we take four fingers, and we wrap it around our fingers, just like this. <laughs> So now we take a shorter piece of string and put it through the circle bit here, just like this, and it's time to connect it to our bookmark. And once you put it through, we make a knot, and just to make it extra secure, we make two knots. So after we attach it to the bookmark, we take another piece of string, about this length, and about one finger's width, we put it on our wool and we wrap this string around. Do we tie a knot around it? Yes, just like you did when you attached it to the bookmark. Okay. We're almost there, Bambinos. Good. And Bambinos, the final step is to separate the loop and take a scissors and cut the strings at the end. Just like that, we have our tassel. Bambinos, this looks so amazing. Thank you, Sia, for showing us. I love these tassels. You know what? I think we have more designs, right? Do you want to see them, Bambinos? I'm going to do a magic trick. Put your fingers up. I'm gonna make them up here. Ready? <gasps> Don't they look great? Bambinos, I want you to send in yours as well. I wanna see what they look like. Until next time, bye.
Dear Bambinos, hope you have enjoyed this episode on the Word of God. It is a blessing in our life to know and love the Word of God. Now let us pray to Jesus, the Word of God. My Jesus, open my heart to receive you. Open my ears to listen to your voice and open my mouth to share your word. My most sweet Jesus, we live for you and you only. Use us for your glory and your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. How did you like the episode, Bambinos? Did you enjoy it? I hope you understood how important the Bible is to each one of us. If not, let me tell you. The Bible is written by over 46 writers, so many chapters, over 13,000 verses, and you know what? It was written not just at one moment, but over hundreds of years. But what made it all make sense was that it had one author, the Holy Spirit. The art, the action song, the Bible verse, all have taught me so much about the Bible that I wasn't aware of. I'm sure you Bambinos have learned a lot as always. And this week, with all the knowledge that you learned about the Bible, I want you to look through the Bible and pick your favorite Bible verse. Then, remember the art section that we just had? I want you to design your favorite kind of bookmark and write your favorite kind of verse and send in your entries to divinekids at divineuk.org and all the entries will be shown in the next week's episode. And don't forget, at the end of season two, we have a massive giveaway for all the children that have sent in their entries using our email. Thank you so much and we can't wait to see all your designs. I hope that whatever you've learned today, you will share it with your friends and family. Let us share the Word of God with each other and help one another to read the Bible more and more. We'll be back, but until next time, stay, stay blessed, blessed and, and have, have fun. fun. Ciao!
Bambino. 